Hey guys, welcome back to another Tony Hawk video. Today we're starting off in the hangar where there's this cool chopper. And some gaps you can do, some pretty cool jumps and things. So I'm going to be showing you guys, as usual, some of the highlights. And some of the specials I did over some pretty cool gaps. And then I'll be showing you guys the best score I got that day on the recording of that certain course or level. So these levels are actually in the second part. There's a Pro 1, which is the ones I did in the first few episodes. And then on this one, this is the Pro 2. So these are the different levels or series. So now I'm going to be showing you guys a clip of me getting a pretty good score. And I've noticed myself getting better. I used to not use the specials, so I would have to work with only the white white moves which don't give you a lot of points or not as much as a blue or a gold or a yellow land that combo pretty good got about a half a million so it's on our way to a million I usually try to aim for a million my friend can get like six million seven million or like four or three pretty consistently but I go for as high as I can get and call it a day because sometimes I try a little bit and I'm like, all right, as high as I can get. Or if I'm annoyed with this map, go into another one. Yeah. Trying to mix it up a little bit, throw in some different kind of moves and things for the combo because that gives you more points. I also saw a tip that if you're Okay, I'm glad I landed that before I fell. I also saw a tip that if you're in switch, it gives you more points for some reason. So sometimes I'll transfer to switch, which is like riding goofy. It's where, I mean, in real life, it depends on how you're comfortable. Like, I skate with my left foot forward. And so if I put my right foot forward, that'd be goofy or switch. But... In this game, you can go switch or just regular. But I'm see if I can land this one. Got a pretty good score. That'd be cool if I can hit it. two million. Ah, oh, I tried. I was gonna try to wall plant off that, but I didn't have enough speed. But now we're on to this map called School Two. Because there was a school one in the first series. Or parts of the campaign. This one's funny because there's a like a security guard that drives around. See that golf cart that was just in that last clip? He drives around and he's based off Jack Black. And I'm pretty sure Jack Black actually did the word acting for that character. So he says some funny things if you go near him or get hit by him or pass him. So I'll see if I can throw that in there for you guys, but it's a funny detail I like that they added to the game. You can also unlock him by completing a ton of challenges with different skaters. Just like the alien you can unlock. You also get cool moves from doing that, like there's one called Assume the Position, which is funny, or a Salute. So I'm going to be showing you guys some of my highlights and clips from this map. And I'm going to be showing you the score I got. I like that jump, transferring to building to building. It's kind of a cool one. And then over the wall is always always a good one. So now I'm going to show you guys of me getting a fair amount of points. Oh, I was aiming to land on that grind that connects the building, so that's alright. Still got a few points from that. It's really satisfying when you land a trick and you get a perfect landing, you get a few extra thousand points. Helps your combo and also helps your overall score. So it was kind of hard for finding good places for points and combos. You could hear in the background the security guard on the golf cart. Uh, they call him <laughs> Officer Dick in this game, which is funny. Um, but he said, oh, you make me feel like I got a poo. So, eh. 
Here's some funny lines he says. But I just like the effect that he's set off Jack Black. He's a funny actor. But doing pretty good so far. Hopefully I can get to approximately a mil. Over, hopefully. I wish there was like style points. I mean like it's understandable that the game can't like review every trick you just did and see like how cool it looks. It goes off like this is worth this much, that's worth that much, and it's just set in code. So if you do a series of things it'll give you more points than if you do like a front flip between buildings and land on a grind or something. Oh there he is, I just got ran over. Call me a punk ass. Come back here. I think he's getting away. Alright, I actually gotta focus and do get some more points. Do the manual. There you go. Almost fell right there. Hopefully I can land this one. Alright, now we're on to New York City. That was one of my favorite tricks you can do on this map. Or on basically all maps. Is the one I showed you at the beginning where I did a front flip through that statue looking thing. That triangular one. My friend did it and he introduced it to me and it looked really sick so I thought I'd do it. So again I'll show you guys some of the clips I got and then I'll show you the best score I got at the time. It's annoying because I'm sure if I could do it now I'd get more points. Try not to fall on this grind. It's cool that you can grind on the sidewalk. Some things I think you can't grind and then I'm able to grind them. Try not to get hit by a taxi. Oh, I had the special manual, but I didn't want to get absolutely ran over by a taxi. Oh, I got a card plant, but I kind of missed with my combo. Oh, don't hit me. <laughs> you can see that the taxis are definitely an obstacle that I got to be careful for. I don't know if it's just on that downtown map, the first one of the series, if they t only talk on that map, or if they also talk on this one, but I haven't heard them talk yet. Maybe if I get hit by them, which I hopefully will not. You can hear someone in the distance sometimes yell taxi, that's about it. I think there's three of them circulating around. They're just whipping around the map. They don't even have any, anybody in them. But, this is a pretty cool map. There's also an area uh, you briefly saw where you could go over a wall and it'd lead you to a cool kind of like back area. I hate when I fall short on that jump right there, on that grind. Oh, I got hit. <laughs> there you go. You talk for a split second. Alright, I'm going to try to keep this combo going for as long as I can. So I can add some extra points to my combo. And then my overall points. Let's see if I can land that. It cut off, but I had about 200,000 on the combo. Landed that for the end score. Now we're on to this map called Burnside, which is a pretty cool smaller map. Showing you guys some clips. That's one of my favorite specials you can do, is the telekinesis where you, you flip the board with your mind and it goes all green. Similar to the warp speed you get from unlocking the alien. That was a clip I just showed you where I accidentally off that spine transfer landed on top of the little like, we're under a bridge right now, under like a construction site of a bridge, and it connected to the bridge, so I landed on there, which is kind of funny, it was like a little secret spot, 
in the campaign, that's where you would pick up the alien on one of those little ridges up there you just saw. But now I'm going to be showing you guys the score I got in this map. I'm actually going to be showing you three of these. The reason I show you three is that this map is actually a shortened timed one where you only get a minute uh, as opposed to two minutes because it's a competition one where you try to get gold and get more points than your opponents. They are AI, but still, you want to get as much as you can in this one minute. But there's three rounds to it, so you try to get as many points as you can in each round. So there I got about a half a million, which is pretty good in a minute. Now we're on to round two. Going around the eye. It's kind of a cool grind you can do. It's a cool landing I did up here on this ledge. I like this map. It looks looks cool and it's a nice smaller map so you don't have to go around the map looking for different jumps and things different grinds and transfers seems like I should get a lot from that there you go at about 600,000 pretty good and then I fall and lose all my specials but that's alright hopefully I can get to middle that would be good Sometimes you just gotta land the combos. In my case, I usually don't have a lot of points in some of my combos, and I'm like, alright, I gotta stop this one and actually get a better one. I'll have to find out what that move is, where he takes a board out from under a mitter and then puts it back. It looks pretty cool. Especially with the perfect landing, that looks pretty satisfying. Hopefully I don't do what I did last time. Sometimes I accidentally wall ride instead of grinding. And then... I don't have enough time to react in manual. So I'm going to land that one. Just snuck it into a million, so that's good. Good for that round. Now we're on to the third one. I usually start off by going onto the eye. Oh, I almost fell off there. That was dangerous. Oh, I almost fell off there again. Kind of glad I was forced to land that one because it smacked the fence, but. Glad I landed that because I almost fell twice, so I probably would have fell if I tried to grind again. What they do is, you see the bar in the middle with my arrow? I control that with the left stick. But the different bars are actually different compared to, say, like a grind or a manual. So that vertical one is for manuals. And so if you have a manual and you're about to fall, and then you go into like a grind the your arrow stays where it was from when you were last manualing so you might like not be able to counteract the weight of it and also when your combos go on it gets harder con to control there's like faster movements to it and it falls quicker so you gotta be careful of that like that I almost fell off but oh that's good I got a lip trick in there, so that'll add a lot of points. Reverts are also satisfying. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. This has been a quick Tony Hawk video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.